Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, today I'm coming to you with a little bit of story time, and also I'm gonna be doing my makeup in the process. This story time consists of of my first child and what I went through with her. I never really, really talked about it for real. Me and her father met in 2000 and 2012 um oh wait i'm sorry it was 2011 we met at a club well it was like an after spot like you know how you go to the club and then like after the club they have like a um uh, after like where it stay open to like four or five in the morning this was in uh my hometown greensboro north carolina or whatever we met everything um i did i really wasn't like paying him no mind because the way we met was really weird because his homeboy was trying to talk to me and um i wasn't paying him no attention and then all of a sudden out of nowhere he got in the back seat of the car and pretty much i guess was running game and you know we exchanged numbers or whatever we started hanging everything was cool um you know a couple of we didn't we didn't know each other that long for real it was probably like a couple of months you know we would talk on and off like we wasn't in a relationship because at that time i had recently before i moved to greensboro i had recently got out of a, um, a relationship he cheated on me and all that other crap but I wasn't looking for a relationship. It was more like a friendship. I wanted to be friends or we could possibly go on a couple of dates here and there. But I wasn't trying to be with you. Like, we was hanging out or whatever. He would come over to my cousin's house and stuff like that. Like, a couple of months after that, we ended up... I'm sorry, I think. We ended up, um, we were still talking or whatever. I ended up moving with my uncle. And when we first met, let me backtrack, when we first met, you know, the first thing I asked was, you know, do you have any kids? He was like, I got a son. I was like, okay, you know, I ain't had no kids at that time. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna like, you know, be like, you lying. I'm pretty sure you got other baby mamas. Like, that's not what you do. Like, you don't know this person. Why would you? Fast forward, I moved to my uncle's house and I was there for a little minute. That shit went downhill due to his wife. She was evil. Nobody liked her. Okay? Nobody in the family liked her. At first, I couldn't see why they didn't like her because she was nice to me. And then I finally realized why they did not like her. Because she talked my uncle into putting me out. And, I, you know, I didn't understand. Like, I thought you liked me. I thought we were cool. We didn't really, like converse like that like conversate i would see him he stayed 30 minutes away from me he was in winston i was in greensboro a couple of days went by i didn't think nothing of it but my aunt started to suspect certain things and she was like why are you so moody and you know why what's wrong with you you know one minute you're happy one minute you're sad one minute you want to be alone one minute you did she went i was like i mean i don't know you know like maybe my period coming on so, days went by, I was spotting, but my period wasn't coming on. And I'm like, that's weird, you know. So, I kept checking, kept checking, and all I seen was spotting. So, every time I saw myself spotting, I would put on, like, a pad or a tampon or something. Because I'm thinking I'm finna come on, and I ain't finna be out in public and have a little incident. I don't know why I keep brushing my eyebrows. I really have not done nothing to my face. One day, um, out of nowhere, my breast was really sore, like, oh my god, I felt like I woke up and I just got a boob job. I don't know what a boob job feel like, but I'm pretty sure it's painful after the pack, but dang, it felt like I just got surgery, like, that shit hurt so bad. I didn't want to hug nobody, take a shower for real, it just hurt. So, one day she ended up throwing a pregnancy test at me. I was like, really? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not pregnant. Why would you throw this at me? I feel like it's an insult right now. Like, what are you trying to say? But, in, in reality, my period hasn't came on yet. So, I'm like, man, this shit gonna say negative. I go in there, I take the test. I'm like, and then the test come back. And I'm reading the back of the box. I'm looking at the 
the pregnancy test. I'm looking at the back of the box. Like, I had to check, like, five times, and my heart dropped because I'm like, oh, my God, I'm pregnant. Like, I'm about to have a baby. And I don't believe in abortion. You know, if you lay down, if you lay down and you get pregnant, that's your responsibility. I can understand if you were, you know, sexually assaulted, raped, or, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, what you do is your prerogative. But me, personally, I do not condone an abortion that's out. Like, if I, if like, right now, if I lay down and had another baby, like, I'm going to have my child. I found out I was pregnant. I sent the pregnancy test. First, I sent the pregnancy test to my mom in Florida. And she was like, wow, oh, my God. And then I sent it to my sister. And she was like, you lying. I'm like, really? Like, I just sent you a little picture of a pregnancy test. Like, really? You really think I'm lying about that? And then I sent it to him. He was like, hell no. Nah. Take that shit again. That wasn't my initial thought of him reacting that way. I was like, that's weird. Like, you know, I know we went in a relationship. We did lay down and have sex. I didn't have sex with myself. So, what's the issue? Like, so, I went to the hospital and I got the confirmation that I was actually pregnant. And I sent him the pink slip and he turned into a whole nother person. Like, from the person I knew to this whole nother stranger. Like, he started blowing up my phone and you, you can't have this baby. Like, you know, you gonna have to get an abortion. I, I... I, I can't have no more kids. And I was like, kids? And then he comes out and tell me, I got four kids. I'm like, but you told me you had a son. You could have, that was my choice of whether I want to talk to you or not. You would have told me you had four, I would have kept it trucking, okay? I'm not going to talk to no dude with four kids. Like, I ain't even got no kids. What type of bitch would I be trying to be a mama to four kids that I don't even, you know what I'm saying? But one kid, that's cool. I accept that. But you told me you had a son. A son means one. Am I correct? Tell me if I'm correct. My blood was boiling to, like, the extreme because you just lied to me. And then on top of that, you want me to get feel sorry for you because you got four other kids. And uh, I don't know how many baby mamas. And I guess I'm, like, what, the fifth? So now you want to blow up my phone and give me a hard time because you lied? And because I'm pregnant now, and you want me to get an abortion? He tried to, like, pay me to get get an abortion, and he wanted to meet up alone, and my aunt was like, no, we don't trust that. If he's going to be on that type of time, then we're not, we're not about to meet up with him. I mean, you're not about to meet up with him alone. We're going to go with you. And I was like, I feel safer that way. But every time I said that my family was going to come with me, he did not want to show up. So I knew there was a motive to his plan, and I still don't trust him to this day. I don't talk to him, by the way. He just was trying to stress me out. I felt like he was trying to force me or, or stress me out to the point where I would miscarry. And I was not about to let that happen. Now I have a life inside of me. I'm going to think about my child and myself. Like, if you don't want to be a part of it, then whatever. Fuck off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need you. Like, you go be a daddy to your other four. And and I'll and I'll be a parent to mine. Okay? Like you don't have to be a part of anything. This shit making me mad. Long story short, my mom ended up coming from Florida to North Carolina to come get me. And I went back home to my mom's house and um I carried out my pregnancy alone there. I found out it was a girl. I text him. You know, I did try to still keep in touch a little bit. Um so I would text him like, it's a girl, and his response was, oh, hell no, nah, that can't be mine because all I make is boys. Bitch, what? Like, all you make is boys? That sounds so damn childish. You sound petty as hell right now. Like, all you make is boys? Did God tell you that personally, all you make is boys? So, yeah, this was his first girl. I mean, I had my, my mom, but I just still felt alone. Like, going to the doctor's appointments, I was alone. Like, no girl, no girl, no woman wants to be alone during this time. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is a precious moment. Why wouldn't you want to be a part of that? So, I ended up riding it out the whole way 
Um, I had a little complications, high blood pressure, weight gain, feet swelling, and just a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I went through it alone. It hurt me that somebody would not want to be a part of their child's life. Like, I tried so many times trying to co-parent with this guy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, literally ridiculous. To the point where if I needed help with him doing something for his child, the thing he would do was start an argument. And we wouldn't talk for months after that. Typical, typical deadbeat nigga. I just stopped caring after that. I stopped caring about, you know, letting him know stuff, sending him pictures, all types of stuff. And we ended up getting a paternity test because he was denying. So I was forced to put him on child support. So that's what I did. I, we took the paternity test. She was his. And, um, he found out before me, which was crazy, and I ain't even getting no results. Like, I didn't get the results. He called me and was like, she mine, man. Like, why are you so mad? I didn't have sex with myself. I didn't trap you. We did this willingly together. Just as she got older, you know, it was hard to... She never, she hasn't asked about her dad, but she met her dad for the... Her real father for the first time when she was two years old. Two years old. And that was only for what an hour an hour and a half maybe and he left the scene before we did that just goes to show that he really wasn't interested like he didn't have no type of connection and it's funny because all his other kids were well, probably like two of them look exactly like my daughter Farah. and you know i would have never expected this to happen I, I i didn't even know he was living a whole a whole nother life 30 minutes away from me but it is what it is just you know, continue to keep my head up and did what I have to do. Did what I have to do for, I don't even know if that sounds right, but I did what I did for my daughter. And it just seems like every time I tried to co-parent with this guy, it would go left, all the way left. And I tried on multiple occasions to the point where I gave up. Like, it was just no point. Like, what's the point? I would ask for him to, you know, send products. Like, if you don't want to send money, that's cool. Just send diapers or wipes or something in the mail or something to where you're contributing. And he'd be like, how I know she gonna get it. Like, first of all, you need to be questioning, questioning yourself. Don't question me. Because I'm not the bad parent here. You are. So question yourself. That's pretty much what I went through. And I was supposed to be doing my makeup, but this shit just took me, just sucked me in. But now she is four years old, and the person that she calls dad is my fiance. Sad because like you never want your child to grow up without their father, but sometimes that's just what it is. I don't think about it no more as much as I did, but you know, when you when the more you get older, the more you continue to just be like, fuck it, it's about my child woman that's going you know going through this right now and i'm sure there's plenty of women going through this right now can relate to me because this shit is hard being a single parent is really hard you know like now that i'm engaged it's different i have more help of course even though it's not his child he still does things for her and for the record her dad still doesn't do nothing for her he don't want no parts of her life and although he try to make it seem like he does, and he probably telling his family another thing, is not true. You have not contacted or tried to reach out. Even by social media, I ended up blocking him because his words was just so cruel. And what he, the last thing that he said that was a wrap for me was he already had the kids that he wanted. Did you just hear what I said? He already had the kids that he wanted minus mine he don't want her why would I want to bring my child around this man why would I want to tell her about him and if I do tell her about him it would be the truth if or had a question about her dad I would give her an honest answer but at the end of the day I want her to know that I love her I'll do anything for her anything for her she would not want for anything with or without this man so, at the end of the day, she knows she's loved. She, she knows she's cared for. I do everything in my power for this girl. 
and now she has a little sister. She loves this. She loves this, <laughs> this little girl with everything in her. She has somebody to give more love to. Don't beat yourself up because a man doesn't want to be in your child's life. Just do what you have to do for you and your child. Just do what you have to do for you and your child and everything will go smoothly. As long as you keep God by your side, everything will be okay. Everything will be just fine. So, yeah. That's a little bit about me. And I don't have, like, more story time. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. And, like I said, don't beat yourself up, ladies. It's okay. You can get through this. And take it one day at a time. Well, now I'm going to do my makeup off camera and give this video a like. And comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be back, you guys.